Good morning. My name is OnePegMG, and this is the news. This morning, Battlestate Games released a nice new tweet for all of us that says simply, Our fight against players who are trying to gain unfair advantages over other escapers with the help of forbidden third-party tools is still ongoing and one of our major priorities. Today, we present another list of 1,265 banned cheaters. And it links to the forums, where we have a nice long list of all of the cheaters and third-party script kids that have now been banned from being able to play Ye old Tarkov. And I don't know about you, but I end up recognizing a few names on the list from my last couple of weeks of gameplay. It's good that they're still on top of things. I'm glad that the anti-cheat is still flagging at least some people. But again, it begs the question, now what happens to the servers? Are they dead once again, now that the new point update was out and you had all these people trying to farm stuff, do they then end up in a situation where all of these cheaters were the majority of the player base? I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll have to get in there and see. And hopefully we don't have more ESP script kids with auto-aim and speed hacks, you know, ripping through labs and doming me one out of every five lab runs or something. The only other real piece of news that I have for today is it seems that the developers are still kind of struggling or tweaking or playing with this idea of finding items in raid. As time goes on, it appears they have things turned on where you have to find the items yourself, although now they do credit people for finding them in advance. Uh, if you look at the icons of items that you now loot inside of raid, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner there are two different colors of checkboxes. One, a white checkbox that simply says that you found the item in raid, and the other is a yellow checkbox that denotes that the item is currently for a task that you have in your possession. Now, I will say that the game is still crediting you for finding items in advance, although it is not flagging them as task items. So you'll get credit for having found them, but it won't tell you whether or not it's for a task unless you just kind of know in advance from having either researched it or played through those tasks before. Items like the vertexes and the RFIDs and lead Xs of the world, as well as I guess now some of the peacekeeper task lines, no longer require you to have to find those items in raid yourself. Instead, the game is crediting you um, for the task if you just were to buy those on the flea and sell them back. My guess is that has something to do with the rarity or difficulty or slowness of some of these tasks, and it looks like they're going kind of through this combo approach where they're reducing experience rewards on a lot of tasks that at one time gave, you know, say 100,000 XP and now only give 30,000, as opposed to giving these large bonuses of experience just because you end up a little bit deeper in these task lines. Personally, I'm totally fine with slowing down the leveling system. I just want the gameplay to remain dynamic and challenging and something where people feel like they're actually making progress on something instead of beating their head against the wall trying to run for the same static spawns over and over again if only to be disappointed. But I do like how they're moving in this direction, and hopefully we'll see some new additional tasks that can kind of be interwoven in here, and it won't really matter if they have smaller XP rewards, and overall we'll be able to have a much more robust task system with rather easily obtainable or uh, easily progressible missions that make us feel like we're not just on a treadmill. Anyway, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Um, I do want to say that I did not mean in my last video to cause offense to anyone. I definitely see the point of people in the community that said that uh, I came off as a little bit abrasive and a little too pushy. Um, I do at some level think that you guys are right. In my case, I'm used to a business flow that moves a bit quicker than this. And perhaps it is something that I just need to get better acclimated to. Um, but the only thing I ever really wanted in my case was a bit of transparency. And if you guys don't understand the reference, that's okay. Uh, I did end up taking the video and making it private, if only because um, the amount of negativity toward myself and the, the development company, I felt as though it wasn't necessarily me being fair to them in a few different ways. Uh, I may end up making another video in the future about this if time goes on. But suffice to say for now, uh, I've heard you 
And uh, I do agree with a lot of you that it, it probably was a little bit too harsh. So for those of you that are pissed off at me and think that I'm just being a, a pussy about it, uh, you know, whatever. I can't please everyone. You know what I mean? But uh, I've always said that I am open to the interpretation of other people. I'm always receptive to criticism. And uh, at the end of the day, if, if I feel that, you know, certain folks have a point, uh, I feel like it's, it's my obligation to at least um, honor that point. Uh, I, I've never been somebody that said that my opinion couldn't be swayed. So again, thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you on stream today, perhaps. And if not, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.